What do you two consider to be the perfect screenplay and why? Whether it's your own work, I know this is first time question. screenwriting for you, although you've written a book and you're a journalist. Yeah. For the two of you, perfect screen, but whether it's someone else's or even a page out of your own that you're working on. I think for me, um, because this was my first screenplay, one of the things that I wanted to do was read every screenplay I could get my little hands on. Um, and one of the, um, actually there's three that I've really kind of gravitated to. Um, Dallas Buyers Club, which I still have yet to see, but I have read it, and I've read it about four times. I think it's a marvelous screenplay, and I'm almost afraid to watch it. I know it did what? well, and I just, I, I, it was like a novel. To, it, it read almost like a, a novel, and sometimes I'm afraid to like look at what that, you know, because it doesn't match my, uh, my vision. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, and I know it did well at the Oscars, and um, it was very inspiring for me because that was a, a project that took about 20 mm -hmm. years to make. Um, but it's just so well structured, it moves, so beautifully. It's so visual in its construct. Um, I felt the same way about uh, Bridesmaids. Um, and then I went back and read um, Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, the, uh, the original screenplay for Guess Who's Coming to Dinner. And that screenplay, just the opening, is tons of fun. It's just, I think there's a line in there where it says, you know, these, this, this black man and this white girl kiss in the taxi cab and watch the audience go crazy. <laughs> it was like they were commenting, you know, this film was done in 1967. It was written in 1967 before, um, the uh, Virginia versus Loving uh, ruling came down that allowed interracial couples to marry in the United States. And so this was still a big deal at the time. And so just reading that first bit of narrative was, was it was hilarious. And it's, and it's just really well done. Yeah. For, I mean, for me, there's just so many. Um, the first, script I think I ever read was uh, Alexander Payne's Election. And he's somebody who has a lot of voice in his, uh, in his scripts. He'll be kind of witty or, you know, you, and, and a lot of times he's adapting. As I think almost always he's adapting from a book. And so maybe some of that is, is coming from that. But I mean, I remember thinking, oh, you have to have style in the way that that you're expressing something and that the tone of your movie can be reflected in the voice of your screenplay. Um, I mean, I love Children of Men. I go back to that a lot. Um, uh, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind as a movie. And I think I have read the, the I have a picture uh, in, my, in my head of the screenplay and I'm, I'd have to think a little harder about how that translates. What did I just, I'm like halfway through A Beautiful Mind right now. Mm -hmm. um, and that does some really interesting things too. So I don't know about the perfect screenplay, but there's a lot of great movies out there that had as screenplays, great blueprints on their own and in their uh, actualization. Mm -hmm. Because I know when I, I went back to watch, like my, one of my favorite films of all times is Broadcast News. I love that film. And I went back and read the screenplay, and the screenplay is very di is, is different in a lot of ways than what was actually shot. So it gave me a different, and maybe that's why I don't want to see Dallas Myers Club, because I'm like, what if they took this out? Oh no, what if that's not in there? So there were things in the Broadcast News script that weren't in the film and or things that were dialogue that was changed and so it was really interesting because I know that screenplay I mean I know that film so well to then go back and watch the screen uh, to read the screenplay and see how different it was it was it was actually very interesting and revealing but now it's just like oh dog why why wasn't that why wasn't that in the movie yeah. <laughs> you know? so so yeah so that's it's, yeah that's I think it's I'm actually I'm teaching a uh, class at one of the community colleges this fall and it's going to be my first experience teaching a screenwriting class and we're going to be working with short films um, but the book that I've selected spe is specifically because 
they have the scripts for the short films in the book, but they are not transcriptions of the movies that got made. Um, because I think it's, it's so important to realize that whatever it is that you're making is only a part of the whole. That, like, that as much as this is a collaborative process, that when we get to the next stage, it's gonna be another collaborative process and then it's going to become something else. Mm -hmm. So I think it, it is interesting. And sometimes you do look back and you're like, something got lost. And then sometimes it just transcends what was there, so.